Hi friends, very good morning. Today, last class we have done with a, a browser launching that we kept in a framework level reusability. Like we have created one class called PC underscore 001. Here we call for launching a browser. There is a method we created launch one method and pass some argument for what browser you want to launch. A navigate URL is one of the user defined method we created. For that, we have given the what URL you supposed to navigate as a key we have given. It's all the keys, right? So to look to the key corresponding value, Chrome browser means Chrome has to open. Best by URL means best by URL has to open. Is the key key corresponding value I want. So where I store the data, I store the data in a properties files. So I created one file called okay config.properties. In that file, I store the data in a form of key value piece. Okay, all the browsers, Chrome browser, Firefox browser, IE browser, Edge browser, like these keys I provided, right? So I have given the values. When I was calling this test case, I call the keys, Chrome browser, all those things as an argument for this launch and navigate you are as goes to respect to method. So it goes to respect to method here, matching case. I was sharing it because I shared the screen. Not able to see. One second, let me reshare once again. I think you have joined just now, I guess. Yeah, can you please confirm, Chandan? Chandana? Yeah, fine. So <clears throat> here launch method definition we have done here with the matching browser. It's supposed to initiate that browser class object. Okay. And here to take the to take the data uh, take the data from properties file. Yes, where we have to load that properties file for that region. We have created one method under the base test. And base test only we written the code for launch, we written the code for navigate URL, and for to load that uh, all the properties file also. In this base test only, we have created one method called load data. So in, in which what is the what is the con what is the properties file under this project? We have this config dot properties, right? That we have stored into one variable. That we have stored into one string variable. Okay. You can give dot slash and give the properties file name or to get this project root directory we can give like this system dot get property user dot dr gets the current project root that from there in the project we have in the file as this one like this right? and we created the properties reference variable why we have created the instance position because this prop this class reference variable i can use here i can use my may use here i may use yes here i'm using properties reference here in this method in this method i was using so if you define the properties class reference inside this method that will be the local that will be accessed only within the method to make access across the class methods means then i define this properties reference variable in a globally or instance position we call this okay because why this properties reference i may use in different different package classes that's why I've given as a public as a access modifier Static why I have given because this properties reference I will I'll be using for many times here here I am using here I'm using here I'm using here also I'm using many times I'm using this properties reference the, the, the variable which is commonly being used that should be different as a static memory gets allocated for this only once the memory can be shared wherever you call for that reason I've given as a non access modifier as a static you know all those things right so I I, I through file input stream object, we have informed the from which properties file I want to read. And through properties file only, we'll be loading that pro properties file. So we already created class reference variable P equals new properties. With this properties reference variable, I'm loading this input stream object P dot load FS. So it is totally loading that properties file. Once it get loaded with that properties reference variable, I can get a whatever key corresponding value you want in our methods. We can call that p dot get property browser. Here launch launch is a method. Here we are passing some argument here. Launch of Chrome browser. This is a key inside this properties file, right? So it goes to this launch method, and here is used by this browser variable. Here this contains key, right? 
p dot get property of browser means the key corresponding value text chrome chrome equal ignore case to chroma means it initiated like this like this it went home right it select the respective method uh, um, browser and initiate and next navigate same process giving the best by url as a key goes there and take the key corresponding value while calling this this is what we have did right so in this code first of all we have to load data method we need to call because that's a, that contains all the configuration files in the that i am loading this so launch method navigate like this we did right now i'll be keeping this code in a github server so everyone can access the code from there whatever daily i am doing you can access there so so let's open the github.com let's open github.com let's try to log in with my username sign in under the four okay let me give the password sign in. so in a github server let's try to create one repository for your batch okay here so many repositories are there earlier i created let me create one new repository clicking on a new button right new here i am creating one new repository for you okay uh, what is this month uh, almost was june right today is uh, may 30 forgot about that i'll do that june okay uh, june selenium selenium june 2019 batch okay selenium june 2019 batch i i given the repository name and is a description is optional i'm making add this as a public repository and click on create repository yes yeah, selenium underscore june underscore 2019 batch one repository called created this is our repository you are friends this is the url i'm sharing with you from now onwards you can take the code from there of course till now i didn't uh, keep any projects into that repository now i'm keeping if you can navigate in your system browser you will not get any 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 project till now because i created only repository that's it now i'll push some projects into this created repository so how i am keeping the projects into this repository with the help of the github desktop client right we already discussed everything so I already installed GitHub Desktop Client in my system. Let me open GitHub Desktop Client. With that help only, I'll be pushing the projects into the GitHub server what I created, right? Selenium June 2019 batch. So <clears throat> I want to push the projects into the GitHub server, which means, yes, we have to clone the repositories, this GitHub Desktop Client with the GitHub server. As through GitHub desktop client only, we can push projects into the GitHub server. For that case, we have to clone these two repositories with the GitHub desktop with the GitHub server. How can we clone the repositories? Yes, file, clone repository, file, clone repository. Here, we can see, or uh, can we see our, yes, see, Selenium June 2019 batch. The username is ravilela1234. Repository name is this one. With this, yes. this is about the, our GitHub server repository. Here, local I path is what the local path is what the our GitHub desktop client local path. Okay, these two are being cloned. This is GitHub server path, and this is our local path. These two I am getting cloned. Click on clone. Now we are making handshake mechanism between this GitHub desktop client with the GitHub server. To share the projects through github desktop to the github server okay for that purpose only yes we can install desktop client yes how can you install means sir see when you once we created the repository okay GitHub repository here we can see setup in desktop is one i button is right if you click on this okay then we'll get one window there you click on the github download for windows then it will get download for you okay so here see my github desktop client is pointed towards uh, what repository selenium underscore june 2019 batch 
okay into this clone repository i need to keep my projects into my local clone path is right yes that path to open how can we open if you know the local path when we clone that repository github server with github rest of time if you know that local path manually you open otherwise don't worry to which repository is currently it is pointing into this pointing repository local path we should open how can we open first you point this repository now click on show in explorer once we click on this this it will be opening one window so to your local path so this is the local path when we are cloning the repositories what generated right see users del documents github like this into this into this local clone path we have to keep our which project you want to push into the github server that project we have paste in this in this in this location so what i will do okay i will go to my eclipse and i will copy the project okay one second i'll go to my eclipse this project where is the root directory of my project okay if you know directly you can manually open the physical location of this project and copy the project if you not know the path of the project then right click on this project go to the properties <coughs> one second Go to the properties. <clears throat> yeah. Here in the resource, if we highlight the resources, then we can get this uh, location of this your project. The Selenium workspace, Selenium new patch is the project. If you click on this arrow mark, it directly uh, go to this uh, project. What happened? Not respond. Sorry, friends, my system is becoming very slow. I need to um, reinstall my voice, I guess. Hmm? Even I removed so many cookies also, even it was taking more time to navigate the pages. So from one onwards, there'll be no problem, friends, okay? During a network issue also, you will not face system issue also, you can't face. Okay, okay, let me copy this path and open manually. <laughs> let me open it. Oh, only came out here. Fine. So, send them new batch. Right? Let me copy this project. Right click on this. Too much of lagging. Too much of lagging. Okay. My God, so many has opened up. Let me close unnecessary things. Let me close. Yeah. Yeah. Where is this? Uh, okay. Fine. This is our our workspace here. This is the project we supposed to copy. It. Copy this. And this is the window, our local cloned path. In this local clone path, I was pasting the project. Once we paste the project in a local clone path, now we can see the project files will be get loaded here. Sell them new batch, right? In the GitHub desktop file. Here we have to provide the some summary here. It's a mandate. Selenium. Batch project added. Okay, something. So, and description is not mandate. We can you make you or you may not you directly. You can click on commit to master. Summary is the must. So, commit into the master.
say branch master is one branch is there like this we can create sub branches also okay master is one branch so in github server everything will be stored in the repository in that we have the branches by default branch is the master branch into this it is going to be push the projects so now we once we click on commit to master branch then we supposed to click on publish branch we can click in this button or either this publish branch either of these buttons we can click to push the core into the github server see now pushing to origin which means it is pushing the projects into the github server with the help of this github desktop client environment if the message comes last to fetch it just now means yes now the project was uh, push to the server we got the message fetch origin last fetch just now message came means yes the project was pushed into the github server now let's refresh the browser see friends now we got some new batch uh, was came into this github repository or not so friends everyone try to access uh, what the url i shared can you please confirm me whether you are able to see this project or not you go inside see here this the src launcher so here we have we know tc001 is that program tc001 tc002 base page right see here all this stuff, right so based based test is there based test that java here we written the load data launch method navigate your right you can pull the code from here friends if you want to download the pro, if you want to download this code simply here we have the clone or download is there if you click on this you can click on download zip okay like this but friends you can get the code from there from to downloads whatever i do i'll be committing over there okay you can you can please save this uh, github url your system friends please save your this github url what is shared please keep that with you fine now now we'll continue with the uh, our programs um yeah now we'll talk about some browser level commands browser level yes, commands sir. will do yes, okay see whatever you want browser whatever you want uh, uh you are everything you can uh, take the key and we can give the for this method as a argument right like this <clears throat> okay amazon next uh, so one second someone is asking the question so so we cannot directly push the code to the master in web instead of local desktop so with the help of the github desktop client we push the code into the github server github desktop is a client github server is a server so to push the project into the github server we take the help of the github desktop client okay and uh, someone is asking sir can you please give the idea about the git bash so git bash is one of the licensed software just like a github okay so this is a licensed software uh, git bash uh, okay even i didn't work on the git bash okay let me check and let will continue okay i worked on the github only not in git bash okay GitHub only will use in the organizations. Git Bash very MNC companies uh, licensed. Uh, they'll purchase the license for that and they'll be working. Okay. I will, I will try with that. Okay. Also, no. yeah. So. So let's continue with our browser commands. So let me run this code first of all. Chrome browser with Amazon URL. Let me run this code. Let's observe. Now 
Now we'll see some browser level commands. Sir, git bash means you have to type the command, sir. Right? You must have three. We can we can push the code through GitHub desktop client or we can go with the git bash also. So git bash means uh, we have to install the GitHub uh, GitHub software in your system, right? So once we install the GitHub server, then we'll get the bit bash yeah, git bash will coming one command prompt. So how we have the command prompt window? Type the DOS commands. The similar way, once we install the GitHub GitHub server GitHub uh, uh, software, we get some Git bash one editor will be coming. There we have to type the commands. You must know the commands. We can go either a GUI perspective. Uh, so friends, we are getting some background noise. Uh, can you please be in a mute? Uh, friends, uh, one second. Let me keep them in a mute. Yeah, Ramakrishna, you're getting some background noise. I'm keeping you mute. Okay, fine. Okay, Git Bash also, I'll tell you, no worries. Uh, but that, uh, we, we, how we push the code to the GitHub desktop, to the GitHub server, through GUI perspective. We can also push the code through command line also. So tomorrow I'll tell you, okay, how to... Uh, push the code through command line also I'll tell you okay but uh, you better anyhow to push the code only to the server only anyhow I'll give the idea on that also okay don't worry for that so fine see friends once I open the chrome browser with Amazon see my browser is in a small window I want to maximize see I was doing like this right so this I want to make it up uh, through script how I can do yes driver dot driver dot manage one second driver dot manage dot window dot maximus these are so friends here i'm using the driver the web driver reference variable because why this web driver reference variable was defined inside this base test class as public i have given that right yes here i have given public static web driver driver this this web driver reference variable in any package class I can access because this base test will be get inherited in every class in TC01, TC02, every class, right? That's why driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. So once I run this code, it will be getting maximized automatically. See, it was maximized, right? Yes, through script, it got maximized. Okay, done. Now, so for every open browser, for every open browser, here we have the title. See, here, if I open Amazon.in, so here I'm having a title for this opened site. See, here we can see the online shopping. Once I was popping on this browser tab, here I can see online shopping site in India, colon shop online for mobiles, books, watches issue something title is coming right yes i want to get the title of this browser and i want to get this current uh, url what i opened so to to get those things sir uh, yes here is the methods web is all the web driver methods manage is one of the web driver method right so i want to get that title of this open browser driver dot get title getting a title something from application for what reason you are getting something to validate with my expected title, right? Yes. So getting something from application, we have to store into one variable of what type? String type. So store into one variable of type of string type. Let me print that. Sys out. 
title something and next if you want to get the what the url you've been open what url you open that you want to get that url from address bar so driver dot get current url is the method so we are storing into one variable of type string type the url i'm storing into one variable of type string type let me print this fine <clears throat> now if you want see suppose you are running the test cases you are running the test cases so while running the test cases you may halt somewhere else because of some some interruptions okay so for that what you are doing blindly or not raising a defect what we will do we will run for twice and thrice for to validate whether it is really defect or not because some chances uh, due to network bandwidth uh, my script can be failed sometimes sir uh, location can be changed of the web element because of that the script can be failed be because of uh, database servers can be down because of application servers might be down due to any of the region my script can be failed but we have to justify that what the region it got failed in running for many times once and twice and thrice like this we did once we run for two times and three times the same error was coming then we will be noticing that defect and raising to the respective team right so we have to test for twice and thrice confirm to raise the defect so you tried for two times and three times even though getting an issue and you feel it is a defect really a defect and you have raised a defect assigned to the respective team and the team was opening your defect with this what the steps to produce was to what the steps to reproduce you have provided in the defect they are looking that steps to reproduce and they are violating in their end who the developers and they feel that ravi it is working fine from our end they are suggesting you putting reverse commenter ravi could you please rerun the test cases while removing the cookies yes friends cookies will interrupt our executions some good cookies will be there bad cookies will be there some cookies will be interrupt our executions you tried for two times and three times but you didn't try with removing the cookies so how to remove the cookies okay driver dot and is dot delete all cookies so this is the method for removing the cookies let me run this code it maximizes the window it gets the title of this window and gets the current url and deletes the cookies let me run this code so it maximizes the window so see it gets the c it gets the title of the window and it gets the current url which i opened got it okay next uh, next is the next <clears throat> So friends here, if I am opening the site like a bbc.com. So friends, sir, here in bbc.com we having the international news. So if you want to click on any of the news link, yes, we can click on that. So if you scroll down, here we can see the latest news will be there. Yeah. Latest business news is there. Here we have the all the latest news. One, two, three, four, five links are there. So here, if I want this first news, okay. So if I click on this, it will be, it will be pages getting refreshed uh, with that link uh, news link. What you click, that news link content will be displaying over here. If you want to click on the second news link, here we can't find that second news links. Until unless you move backside only, 
until unless you move back side only back button only you can see that second news link third news link to click on that if you want to click on second news click on the back button then only you can you can find the second news link then only you can click on that if you want third news you can have, you have to click on back like this so if you are supposed to move the back button forward button refresh yes this this can this also can be handled it backward forward refresh some cases we do right if pages keep on loading we suppose to refresh the pages and if you want to move backward forward the pages okay navigations and also we can handle through web driver commands yeah how driver dot navigate dot back which moves the backward back button if you want to move forward driver dot navigate dot forward if you want to refresh the browser driver dot navigate dot refresh like this we can move backward we can move forward we can refresh everything so friends if i run this code you can't feel it backward forward refresh instantly it will be happening very fast so for that what i will do for your uh, for to for to observe for you i will be giving some wait statement after clicking on the back button i'll ask to wait for 3 seconds then you can watch something okay after back for 3 seconds wait and click on forward if i want to wait for some while where i use the sleep method sleep sleep is a static method friends how we call the static methods through class name under which class this sleep static method was there under the thread class so thread dot sleep we use thread dot sleep here long milliseconds as we know 1000 milliseconds equal to 1 second how many seconds you want to wait 3 seconds means 3000 milliseconds we have to produce right here so same 3000 milliseconds after clicking on forward also i was giving some wait statement okay Yeah, then you can observe. Once it clicked on back, it wait for three seconds. Then clicks on forward, waits for three seconds, clicks on refresh. Let me run this code. Taking too much time. So, one second is loading. Yeah, I will tell you, sir. Just let me complete this. I will tell the difference for get and navigate also. Okay, some difference is there. Yes, I will tell that. My system was hanging. So from Monday onwards, it it will not uh, get trouble, friends, because I will give my system for service. Don't worry. So because of my system performance, uh, only it was a uh, problem. Yeah, it started. See friends, observe. Uh, yeah, backward is happening. Right? Back button was clicked. Now forward button click. After three seconds, refresh also clicks. Yeah, refresh happened or not? Yes. 
So all this done, right? So, so here, so here, one of our friend asking, so what is the difference with the navigate and get? So friends, sir, how you navigate the, how you open the URL with the web driver method get, right? So here, in the navigate URL method, here how we navigate the URL, driver dot getter, driver dot getter, I have given the URL to navigate. So instead of this statement, we can also navigate with the navigate method also. So how driver dot navigate navigate dot earlier we use one second what is this driver dot navigate dot earlier we have seen back we have seen forward we have seen refresh now we are seeing to offer url so here we can do this p dot get property p dot get property so p dot get property here we give the so we can either use get or we can use navigate for to navigate the url okay let me run this code even for navigate also it opens the url in meanwhile we'll discuss what is the difference for get and navigate let it execute i'll give the explanation for that get and navigate difference friends here get is the method which navigates the url only using get method we cannot move the backward forward refresh this is one of the difference some more difference are there i'll tell them this is the first difference for the get right and second second is the second point in get is the when we using the get method all gets the url from server only always in the get method we are giving some url right amazon.com flipkart.com this urls always gets from the server only using get method is a two point for the get method we we'll come to the navigate with navigate method we can navigate to the url we can navigate backward we can navigate forward we can navigate refresh with get only we can navigate the url with navigate four things we can do that and second point in navigate when using navigate method first time if you want to open the url it takes from server the reference of the url and opens from second time onwards, it will not hit the server in taking the URLs. It will take from the local cache. Right? That's the one more difference for navigate. For get method, always it goes to the server in getting the URL. Whereas navigate first time it goes to the um, when no reference was there to take the URL from local caching, it goes to the server when it is open first time. Second time onwards, it will take from local caching. That's the difference for the get and navigate. See friends, even now it also, it has opened the image and order. Got it? Right? Yeah. That's the difference for get and navigate. Now, so friends, every time the browser we are closing, every time we are closing the browser ourselves. So I want to close the browser through script. Yes, two ways we can close that. Driver dot close is one of the method to close the browser driver dot quit is one of the method for to close the browser can anyone tell the difference for close and quit when we use the close when we use the quit can anyone know about this close and quit come on friends can anyone What is the difference with the close and quit? Try it, try it, try it. Right or wrong, try it. Close and quit both are meant for to close the browsers. Then what is the difference? Close current browser. Close means current browser closer. Okay. What about the quit? 
close current url and uh, it close all the open browsers of the test okay fine close is the method which closes act to window only that which you open through web driver friends if you are manually opening some browsers and you are trying to execute the scripts through web driver one browser is getting open through web driver what browser been opened that browser you supposed to close means you give the close quit quit also closes the browsers which are opened by web driver only not manually opened right that too once you are working with the application once you are performing some operations one more new tab or new window supposed to get open in the scenario it was there like that so how many windows open along with the home window one child window has opened so once the once the child window our test case execution done that's the last part the child window then i want to close the parent window and child window which are open by the web driver then to close all the consecutive browsers open by the web driver to close everything means we use the quit close means only current active window supposed to close means that close any of close and quit closes only the browsers opened by web driver not open manually by users okay na yeah so for to show you the difference not only this difference close and quit one more difference also is there we'll talk one by one so let me go with a close okay let me go with a close so one second one second um i am doing something don't worry i will tell you what i was doing i want to show some difference for you between the close and quit one more difference is there i will tell that one second Too much slow. Too much slow. Okay, let's wait. My God. So here. So in the back end, some Chrome drivers are running. One, two, three. So what I am doing, don't worry now. We will come to know. We will come to know what I was doing. Don't worry what I was doing now. Okay. Don't bother about this. What I was doing. See what I was killing is is a Chrome drivers. So friends, when when I was supposed to open the Chrome browser. so with help of the chrome drivers only my browsers are getting open right okay because the drivers what how many times i open that many times browsers are getting initiated these drivers are getting initiated those are not killing it in back end that's why i was killing manually okay so why i am doing this within few seconds will come to know the difference Okay, friends. Here there are no Chrome driver service. See, with the Chrome driver, is nothing is there. See, here, nothing is there back end. Fine. Let me close this. Now I was using close, friends. I was using close. So before doing the close, I will do one. I will do one exercise here to show you difference for close and quit exactly. So don't worry what I am doing now also. Okay. So what I was doing. in this amazon once i open amazon so not amazon i will take a is this okay i will take different example for to show you close and quit i will take hdfc bank.com uh, hdfc bank.com in that i can show you close and quit yeah <clears throat> So friends, once I open HFC Bank, I suppose to click on the login bin login button. So if I click on this, what happens? I'm getting one more new child window, right? One more new child window. How many windows? This is the parent window HFC Home Bank, and this is the personal net banking. One more child window has came, right? Now, 
I will do automate for this, taking the property of this login button and I'll be clicking on that login button. Don't worry what I was doing now, okay? Just for to show you the close and quit, I'm showing this. How to how I'm taking the properties, don't worry, okay? Tomorrow we'll come to know how to inspect the properties, okay? We'll take the inspector. Okay, I'm inspecting the property of this. Yes, login submit ID I was checking. Uh, driver dot finding the element with the property ID. Driver dot find element by dot ID. Don't worry what I was writing now, okay? On button, what operation I can do? Click, right? Yes. So I will do one thing. I'll be commenting all these things. Uh, title, current URL, daily cookies, unless right? Takes a time. Okay. If you want to comment multi lines, select the lines, right click on this source, add block comment, which has the multi comments. Okay. Multi comments. So once it opens, maximize the window. Now I'll be clicking on that login submit button. Then I was clicking on close. Let's see what will be getting close here. So let me run this code. Let me run this code. Now observe. Now once I click on login button, login submit button. So two window, one more window is getting open, parent window and child window. If I close the, if I click on the close button, close method, if I use the close method, which is getting closed parent window na child window na the question come like this means sir parent window will get closed the control is in the parent window until unless you switch the control from parent window to child window only it will be closed in the child window otherwise always close the parent window only okay oh sorry sorry i need to give the htfc you are right sorry wrong wrong let me give the URL different thing. I'm giving the HTTPS URL. Here I'm giving HTTPS colon slash slash dot dot HDFC bank dot com. Right? Let me give this HTTPS URL into my code. Let me run once. Let me run once. Two differences are there for close and quit. I'll show you one by one. What happened? It failed. Huh? So, Selenium Web Driver. What is the exception? Selenium Web Driver. Unknown element. Huh? Uh, login is uh, is not control is point okay so because of some synchronization issue because it is not clicking i'll do i'll give one some wait statement i'll give one white statement before clicking on this you know let's copy this thread dot sleep let's give some wait statement on this code before clicking i was waiting for three seconds
Oh, here one more alert was coming. Observe here. One alert was coming here. Fab 5 fest is there, right? One small pop is coming. Until unless you close this uh, pop up, uh, back end elements will not click. Let's wait. See? See, friends, is it, is it happening anything? No, right? So, see, I was trying to click on apply now. So, that went off. See? So, I have to handle that alert also. Then only I can click on login. Okay, let me do once again. Uh, let me open. Let's try to inspect that hdfcbank.com. Let me handle that alert. Then only I can click on login. Let me inspect this one also. Function F12. Let me inspect. Um, one second. Better. I am taking this one and I will take next part. Okay. So I am um, before clicking on login only, we have to click on that alert, right? We have to click on that alert driver dot find element by dot x path. I was taken. I was given the locator and I was clicking on that. Don't worry, whatever I was, do, whatever I was doing in this line and this line. By tomorrow, you'll come to know locators, how to impact all those things. Okay. So let me run once again. Let me run once again. So script is running. So once that pop-up comes, uh, it will handle that. After that, it will be clicking on login. See, it handled right. Now it clicked on that login. Now see friends. Only child window exists. Where is the parent window? So it has closed the only act to window. Currently, once I open the uh, browser, that's a HDFC home page was opened. After that, once we click on one web element login, one child window has opened. Until unless you switch the control from parent to child, control moves from here and there in the multiple browsers. So if you're not switching means default what browser you've been open in that only control will be exist. If you use the close means closes that only one active window only. Which window you want? Suppose you want to close the child window. You switch the control from parent to child. Then the control comes to the child. If you give the close means then close the child window. So how to switch all those things? We'll see the later. Okay. Now this is the one difference for the close, right? And quit. I'm commenting the close now. I was uncommenting quit now. Let's try to execute. Okay. Quit means closes all the consecutive windows opened by the web driver. Parent window and chain window. Everything is going to be closed. Is the first difference for close and quit. Second difference I will discuss. See, it has closed completely parent and chain window. Observe here. The close does close the every 
active window only so it will close all the consecutive windows opened by the web driver this is the first difference for close and quit okay now now i'll show second difference i'll show the second difference for you one more difference one second so whenever okay see friends how many times you open chrome browser three times you open uh, four times sorry see one two three four okay because first time you open amazon wrongly second time you open that uh, pop up is coming for that uh, third time we run for close fourth time we run for the quit right see how many times you open the chrome browser that many times drivers are in the back end service are running right observe okay i am deleting all the chrome driver services just observe now i'm closing all the services as yes, all the chrome driver services are deleted now see here no chrome driver service are there now let me let me run for now the same script for quit okay now as of now no chrome driver service are running back end now let me run this code the first difference for quit is it closes all the consecutive windows opened by the web driver parent window or child window everything get closed this is a one difference i said second difference also now i am telling that the services once you open the chrome browser the service also will be get killed in the back end service in the back end the chrome driver service also get killed with the quitter closes all the consecutive browsers and back end service also will close i'll show you one second So it closes all the browsers right parent and child window let's see the back end service task manager here we can see like a chrome driver service will not be present here chrome see friends did you see any chrome driver service no chrome driver service are shown here right because quit quits all the consecutive browsers and back end services now let me comment the quitter and let's uncomment the close and let's try to run this now close will close only one active window only that to back end services will not kill that's a one more difference see it open two windows parent window has closed child window was exist right and if you check the back end service right click on test bar task manager here we can see the chrome driver back end service will not get closed for the close method see friends back end service or not closed okay so we have delete manually got it that's a difference for close and quit so friends any doubt let me commit this code so friends whatever i was doing i'm committing code from here oh sorry i didn't uh, uh, keep okay i have to import the project from github server to here friends i forgot that yeah chrome offense i'll discuss sir we'll discuss we'll discuss we'll discuss slowly we'll go sir step by step we'll go okay don't worry 
so friends uh, i had did the code in this okay i'll do one thing yeah yeah sure sure one second one second uh, i did i did the code development in this local project okay okay fine okay i'll do one thing i'll be uh, okay 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 Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be importing the code from there. Okay, one second. Okay, uh, let me delete this project. Anyhow, this project was there in the GitHub server. Let's take from there. I'm building this project from this my clips. I'll import the project from GitHub server into my Eclipse. So unexpected has been caught while processing the refactoring delete resource. This is time actually important for me. Okay. So here, 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 because why it is getting this error means uh, some backend service are running. So yesterday we have ran for Firefox and uh, we have ran for uh, Microsoft Edge and I, right? Those resources are not deleted in the backend. We only deleted for only Chrome, right? That's the reason the project is not deleting properly. See? Of course, some files got deleted, but some resources due to the resources in backend running. That's why the complete structures were not deleted. So let's go to the task manager. Let's try to delete that Firefox, Mozilla drivers, all those things. So Microsoft Edge is there. Let's kill this. So, uh, Mozilla. So Microsoft Edge is there. Let's kill this. What is this? Microsoft Web Driver. My God. What is this? Yes. Huh. Microsoft Edge, I deleted. And uh, anything else? Kiko drivers for Firefox, right? These are the services are back and running to delete that project. And anything else? Drivers. Fine. Anything else is there? Browser drivers. Uh, no. Fine. Let's try to delete the project. Delete. Check this. Checkbox and click on OK. Now still some more are pending. Okay, anyhow, let me rename it. Otherwise, it's a wasting a time. Okay, some Internet Explorer service also we have to remove that. Otherwise, we have to restart the Eclipse. Some cases. Let me rename it. Let me rename it. Let me delete that. Stop wasting a time. Okay, so. how to rename it refactor rename let me give it as a world my 
have not given this much time is taking up let me give as a role for time being so let's try to import the project from github server into my eclipse okay how to import project from github server to eclipse we'll see okay so file import we are importing projects from git right under the git folder projects from git we have to select and click on next and here first time you are cloning the repository exist now clone url first time you are cloning is clone url from existing repository you want to take projects means you have to go with the existing local repository okay the first time you are cloning clone url select this and click on next here we have to provide from which repository you want to import the project so this is my repository in this right in this repository how can we get the repository url clone or download button click on this click on this here you click on this icon with the url be getting copied click on this icon yes and come to your eclipse and paste it your git url and here you have to provide your author authorization details so uh, git, git account while creating the git account what is the username password that we have to provide click on next so from master branch only you are taking the project master click on next so this is the local path uh, the project will be stored into this then we can see in the eclipse here okay next Now click on next finish <clears throat> see now selenium new batch project came from github server into my eclipse one second still progress happening see here selenium new batch is a from which uh, repository selenium june 2019 batch from which branch master branch so i'll do one thing in this i need to add the few things few things i need to add okay and also here i need to add the hdfc ur also https colon slash slash www dot hdfc bank dot com okay yes yeah so now friends here i did some changes right i did some changes this changes uh, has to be reflect in a github server see if i go to here if we go inside this project uh, what that what did you did in the eclipse uh, that can't be reflect in this uh, github server project see you so if we go inside src launcher tc001 in this uh, only three steps are there three lines of code is there but in eclipse we added some code here right some code here i did in but it was not reflecting in that github server right so why it is not reflecting because we have to commit the code so how to commit the code right click on this project right click on this project team commit team commit there unstaging we have to move to the staging and give the commit message browser commands and some meaningful commit message i have given 
and I'm clicking on commit and push. Commit and push means committing the code local and pushing into the GitHub server. Where commit does the only committing in a local with not pushes into the server. That's the difference for the commit and commit and push. So we'll take the commit and push. So here it is asking our credentials where we provide Ravi Leila one, two, three, four, giving the password. So I was committing and pushing a code into the GitHub server. Now the updated code in Eclipse, what I did the changes will reflect in the GitHub server. Now this is the one ID call generated. Now you can go to the GitHub server. Now you refresh the browser. Now here we can see the updated code. See friends. Now we can see the update code, right? See everything we can see here, right? Yes. So friends, hope everyone understood the today's concept. Today we have seen the browser commands and we have seen how to uh, uh, create uh, create the repository, how to keep the projects into that, how to take project from, <coughs> how to commit the code uh, from Eclipse to the GitHub server also. We have seen that. Anyhow, we have done with GitHub, uh, GitHub servers uh, class for three days. If you are not uh, understood, the, please watch my GitHub videos, which I already shared, right? Three days, four days, I think we discussed, I think. Three to four days, right? Yeah. So, friends, see, now it was everything become as a yellow color, which means everything is from repository. From now, from tomorrow onwards, whatever I do the code in this project level, if I do the commit, every changes you can watch in your system also with the repository, what I shared with you, okay? Yes, join. Uh, okay. So, um, uh, what is that? Uh, this is one time active importing project. Yes, one time only you are importing. So, once we do some changes, you always do the commit and push. Okay. And next, one more question. Join the class just before due to net issues. Can you share videos of this class? Yeah, sure, sir. Perfect. And, uh, Sujit, uh, sir, uh, your mail. Yeah. So, Sujit, uh, is this the. You joined for three days ago, right? Yes, yes, yes. I asked the the, the software. Uh, they said today they'll be mailing you your mail IDs who are joined newly. Uh, they are said like we'll share today. So once I get the mail ID from them, so I'll share the complete videos for you also. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, friends. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. We'll meet tomorrow with continuation of this. Uh, option classes so browser level we have to cover completely then something pending is there for browser level option classes chrome options firefox options microsoft edge options internet explorer driver options like this having respect to options we will be doing browser level so friends once you are working with the browser some browser level some interrupts will be coming which halts our executions so you must be in a position to handle those type of halts during working with the browsers with the help of the option classes. Tomorrow we'll discuss about the option classes. After browser level done validations, then we go with the inside the browser. We'll be interacting with the web elements. How to work with the web elements, with the what properties, what is the sequence, everything we'll discuss. Next part, CS selectors, everything we'll discuss. Okay. Okay, friends. Thank you for done for today. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.